Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Pretty hands on John readings. This reading will be for my Earth signs, Virgo towards Capricorn for December 28, 2020. The last week of 2020. What you gonna do? What? What you gonna do is you're gonna accept this cancer full moon on the 29th. Of course we have a full moon in cancer. Um as the last full moon, right? In the last few days of 2020, of course, of course it's gonna bring all type of emotions that don't nobody want, but everybody need, right? <laughs> um, emotional release is the name of the game, right? Letting stuff go, just deep wounds being healed, letting go major, major things, um, like a, a cathartic release. But what's on the front of that? The front end of these releases is discomfort, crying, kicking, screaming, tantrums, all of that, just being frustrated. But then once you allow, you process it, right? You let it pass, you work through it, you feel enlightened, you feel lighter, you feel more emotionally balanced, right? You, you feel like, you feel more buoyant, right? Like literally lighter. So that is what you can expect. And it's all part of the course, y'all, as we shake off 2020. So coming along with that, yep, things moving fast. You hear the motorcycles in the back, we love that. I heard something. Coming along with that, I have a surprise for y'all to aid in the emotional release of 2020. So stay tuned. Also, 2021, the year of exposure, right? So people have been exposed for who they are, what they are, good, bad, ugly. Um, truth coming out. Also, exposure as in the light that has to penetrate the lens of a camera, right? So that you can develop something, something beautiful, something long lasting. So that's being in the public eye. Eye. Happy Kwanzaa to y'all. Happy New Year. <laughs> what are the major things for my Earth Science of the upcoming week of December 28, 2022? Mm. Oh, nah, kissing nobody. Boy, I got my lip gloss on. That song is stuck in my head. I don't know why. Do it, right? Just making stuff happen. Earth signs. All right. Eight circles tiger. I knew what this was because this <laughs> when it flew away and I had to find it that one time. Um, so eight circles tiger, right? And I'm singing that Chloe Haley song. Um Eight Circles Tiger is about just charging in, letting stuff go, being your own sense of authority, standing up for yourself, Earth signs. Calling all the shots. You, okay, there it is. You being in charge of your destiny. You being the master of your own fate. And I hear a cardinal bird. I don't see it yet. It must be the girl because I can't see her. Um, so, yes, your angels and ancestors are surrounding you. Um, if you have a loved one who you are mourning, they are letting you know that they are okay too. But you just being supported. You stepping into your own sense of divinity, your own sense of authority, your own sense of everything, right? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that mean, man? That. And not taking no nonsense, honestly, from nobody. Nor should you feel um, obligated to, right? Just standing on your own. Sword. So, two, two wine sword energy we coming out of for last week so you are or not just last week but 2020 so shaking stuff off making decisions that need to be made i feel like this is also too this this energy of going that stuff alone doing it on your own right independent that's why i was singing that song there you go like cutting off stuff that no longer serve you like in groups or partnerships right stuff that just don't work no more stuff that you don't need that's like if you grow an extra arm tomorrow or leg or something or toe you don't need it let it go right that was a horrible example but roll with it um <laughs> just just shaking off stuff so that you are you are down to one right quality over quantity that's the name of the game and i feel like as you move into 2021 that is that's your thing um uh, earth sign just streamlining everything making executive decisions four circles jade we ain't seen this one in a minute so, so that you can build your stability. You're trying to build an empire, Earth Times. You ain't playing with these people. That's why you letting it go. You had to make sacrifices. It was You came too far. You done done too much. You done went through too much hell. Like, you cleared too much karma to let anybody be in charge of your life now, right? You are the master of your own fate, the captain of your own ship. Come on, Mark Twain. Ain't that Mark Twain? Uh, <laughs> but with the Four Circles Day, building stability, building building. 
this again the jade is about working hard right and getting to something that takes years and years of work and toiling but it's going to be to a beneficial long-term end right it does not rust or fade or decay it's very valuable but it didn't come easy and that's what i'm getting from y'all none of this it can, none of this came easy but it's yours right and it's happening now commence so, so having some issues shooting your arrow right having some issues with getting this with getting out the gate is what i'm hearing right you in the gate you ready you ready to take off you know what you need to do you have a plan but you're feeling like the timing is not quite right or that the universe is holding you back or there's one more thing you're still waiting on earth signs that type of energy right but you're ready to shoot your arrow here's the thing what you don't know is that you might be aiming you might have everything ready and i believe you do but again you might be aiming at the wrong target and you don't know that yet see what i'm saying and you have to wait to receive the divine guidance so that you know like all this planning and prepping that you've been doing yes it's, it has not been in vain but all you'll have to do is change your direction it won't require any other work you won't have to do nothing else and i feel like this was y'all thing for last week too earth signs i feel like that was y'all where it was like you working hard you focusing on something but the universe is like you putting a lot of effort into something that's not gonna work out or that's not meant for you long term right so this is saying don't be discouraged don't think like oh man i did all this i ain't doing that again i'm giving up if you tell me i gotta start over no that's not what i'm saying earth signs i'm saying everything that you did all your hard work everything that you went through all the sacrifices that you made if you feeling like it's not happening right at the beginning of 2021 it is because your focus is in the wrong area so what will happen is that the universe will cause you to have to shift all your hard work you, you're gonna keep it and you'll just have to move it over slightly and then you'll be alignment and bow you'll be able to shoot your arrow and the wind picked up when i said that so yep <laughs> seven bamboo toward it so patience they just want you to be patient a little longer this is a super clear reading i love that obviously you've been working hard you stand in your own truth so the beginning of 2021 what they are asking you earth signs is to be patient a little while longer not through the whole year i'm not saying that nobody ain't got time for that nobody ain't got time for that they saying use your obstacles for your good you're good at that earth sign you're good at being disciplined you're good at waiting but now you're like i'm over it i know it i'm an earth sign blah 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 yeah i can wait but i can't wait forever the universe is saying just a little while longer just a little while longer and these new beginnings that you're working on they not gonna happen right out the gate it's gonna be a gradual thing right it's gonna be gradual you'll slowly see things shifting and moving and improving so don't get discouraged or mad when stuff don't just when at the stroke of midnight you know on friday that you know your life don't just change drastically it's a slow process but there is definitely money and value in it and there's definitely success here you gotta know that okay so final message for my and the clouds are clearing up too that's an excellent omen for you earth signs final message for earth signs for 2020 from the goddesses who coming out who got something to say wow wisdom <laughs> why does that not surprise me with all the pleas for patience sophia we already know who that is sophia brings the pure light of wisdom when you need to see clearly upon your life path her radiant presence brings the supreme gift of heaven up to earth sophia embodies the sacred mysteries available for your awareness and blessings to others be blessed with her light of conscious knowing and illuminate your world right so wisdom is coming that's why they got y'all waiting it's still something you don't know but it's something major right wisdom that's going to inform your next move your next decision it's all good sun coming out too we gonna start with virgo mm -hmm. so there's something about kids or a group or that might be what you got to cut off virgo a group of people or some people that just honestly i feel like this is kids but not like you got to cut your own kids off <laughs> don't do that this is you being um some people being childlike right a group of people being childlike or um and you may have to separate yourself from it also you feeling apart from the group but i just for some reason i'm getting that this is a group of people a group of childlike individuals or people that just don't resonate with you more, no more and that's why you got to draw that line and cut them off right and do your own thing over here which over here is your intuition Mm hmm being led down a path again this winding path y'all are in for a whirlwind <laughs> um of a year right you're in for a lot of good things are gonna come but it's gonna feel like a whirlwind year for you virgo um they're saying you have to remain anchored in your intuition otherwise this year is gonna feel crazy to you 
that's like I said, it's good stuff. But if you are in tune with your intuition, then you know, like, the people you had to cut off, the groups that you had to associate yourself with. It makes sense. Even though to from outside looking in, right, to outsiders, it's like, why, why would you do that? Why would you, you know, quit that job you're making this much money? Or why would you quit that group or that organization when, you know, you were the president or you had so much prestige or clout or something like that? But it's like your intuition is telling you, like, that ain't a door I need to go go in no more, go through no more. But it's up to you to listen to it. Um, a lot of new beginnings. A lot of new beginnings. A lot of new beginnings around money. A lot of new beginnings around communication. So you could get a job or a financial opportunity that involves speaking or communicating. This could be online. This could be any form of communicating. Singing, rapping, writing. You name it. Giving presentations. Doing something with Zoom like everybody named Mama. Um, but that's what's in the cards for you Virgo just in general don't feel bad about following your intuition even if everybody else is telling you that you're not being practical or what you're doing makes no sense because it is alright Capricorn happy birthday Capricorn <laughs> uh, happy birthday to my special Capricorn he'll be 5 tomorrow well, today when y'all see this, you know the Capricorn who always in the readings? Yeah, my little nephew. Oh, okay. So again, Capricorn feeling like, you feel like you might not be on the right path. Again, you, everybody, y'all have this energy, overall energy for y'all is separation. Like earth signs, y'all over it, y'all done. It's like if a tree could finally grow legs, right? Where would it live? Would it be where it went, where it is now? You don't know. We'll never know, right? You don't know if the tree is happy with where it is, right? Especially if somebody else planted it there. That was deep. I should write about that. But nevertheless, um, y'all just letting stuff go. Starting a new path with new people, new atmosphere, new environment. Being more connected to the earth. Being more in tune with yourself, with what you want. With the sweetness of life. Because brown is also the color of chocolate. So it's like y'all trying to embrace the richness of life capricorn not just working 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 and and going after things that bring you financial or material gain right but don't really light up your life or your heart or your emotions could be dealing with the leo here too but this is also again the sense of taking accountability for your own life the sense of having your own ability to communicate your being your own sense of authority especially in situations where you have to speak up, in situations where you are a part of a group, you are a part of a whole, and where the, the decisions of the group impact your life path, right? The path that you're supposed to be on. You could also be receiving help from a person who is a part of a group, right? That you know through a group this week to usher you into the new, the new year, right? To help you with this transition because y'all trying to make stuff move fast. And again, the energy is slow moving, but you are in alignment with your divine path so congratulations Capricorn and the sun came out when I said that okay last but not least is mm -hmm. feeling like you gotta go to battle yeah it's like I feel like this is internal yep I thought that wasn't gonna come out it did you feel like Taurus I need a little more what I thought was gonna come out mm -hmm. So things that you thought was going to happen, they may not happen how you plan them. Or they may not happen at all towards. Do not get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. You're still clearing some stuff out towards. You're still clearing some stuff out. Some pieces still need to move together, right? Still moving in order. Um, you might feel like you're at war with yourself. Like you're battling yourself. Yep. Because think about that. Taurians love luxury. They love extravagance right they don't necessarily want to work hard to get it they just like to have it being stable i think a lot of people like overlook that aspect like tauruses ain't known for their hard work they can but that's like capricorn energy tauruses if they working hard they want to it's for a purpose right it's so that they can look good it's so that they can be surrounded by beauty that it ain't money they're not just trying to work hard to stack it or to make themselves feel good no 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 baby <laughs> um but there is luxury here there are cycles beginning again but stuff is starting small you still have to clear out a little bit more of the sense of self-doubt this is in your head the good news is in your head nothing's against you nobody's against you this is in your head you having to be 
resolved in saying I'm not taking these thoughts with me into 2021. I'm not holding on to nothing that don't serve me no more. Right? This battle. You could have been dealing with like depression even. Like this war within yourself. But the universe is saying all wars must end eventually. But this time you just have the the power to end it. And on the other side is the beginning of a completely new cycle. The beginning of feeling more grounded, feeling more in tune with the universe itself. And the gifts that the universe wants to bestow onto you. That's what's on the side of this. So if you feel like frustrated, you're dealing with a, a major emotional release, right? Just realize the other side of this is luxury and happiness and joy. You're just processing all these old negative energies, Taurus. And once you bounce back, once you, again, cry it out, first paint, scream it out, whatever, you're going to feel amazing. And then you'll see things unfolding for you afterwards into 2021. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Happy New Year. Have an amazing, amazing New Year's Eve. I got a surprise for y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all next year. Peace out.